Turkey's ordeal of heavy snow continued as bad weather prevailed in the country and two highways connecting Istanbul and the capital Ankara reopened, freeing travelers who had been trapped for hours. Citizens are stranded at a bus stop after public transport stopped working in Istanbul's Kuksakmis district. Heavy snow is hurting life in Istanbul amid safety warnings. Turkey's western and northern regions continue to struggle with heavy snowfall over the weekend during a period of bad weather that has hit other parts of the country since last week. Snowfall and blizzards that wrapped the regions under a white blanket disrupted intercity communications. Two highways connecting Istanbul with the capital Ankara have been reopened after several hours of closure due to heavy snowfall and a blizzard sweeping Turkey. Snow clearing efforts have allowed traffic to resume on the D100. The Trans-European Highway was reopened a few hours later. Authorities urged travelers to avoid exiting highways while stranded passengers and motorists were taken to hostels, guest houses and other facilities near highways and cars were towed to safe areas. Bad weather particularly affects the section of the highway on Mount Bolu. Hundreds of vehicles were stuck on the road for several hours, forming rows of vehicles that stretched for miles. Motorists turned off their engines and some left their vehicles to take cover at rest stops. Earlier this week, 2,000 people were stranded on the main highway in the south. Bolu Governor Ramit Amit told the media late in the evening that it was the heaviest snowfall in the region since the 1950s. Stuck on the roads in the provinces of Bolu, Dozje, Sakarya, Aksarai, Samsun, Sanlurfa, and Shivas. Elsewhere, crews worked around the clock to clear roads of snow, but some were still closed as of Monday afternoon, according to the country's road authority. The General Directorate of Highways has announced that several roads connecting cities in central Turkey, from Shivas to Kayseri, and other major roads in the southeast, including one connecting to Yarbakir with Bingol province, have been closed. Long-haul trucks have also been banned from some roads to prevent congestion from traffic accidents. The motorway connecting the Mediterranean province of Antalya with the center of Konya, which was closed, has also been reopened. The road was sometimes open to traffic, but an avalanche last week forced it to close completely. Transport and Infrastructure Minister Adil Karyazmailoglu assured the public that most roads are still open to traffic. Speaking to reporters outside a busy tunnel on Mount Bolu, where traffic had stalled, Karyas Malaglu said they had two days of problems ahead of them, but every effort had been made to ensure unhindered movement. He said they had 13,000 people on the ground to keep the roads open, but acknowledged the unprecedented snowfall, calling it something we haven't seen in a while. The minister added that for safe travel in the region, the D110 roads had to be blocked. Karyas Mailoglu said the forecast predicted worse weather in the next few days, warning the public to be prepared. The root of the problem on the motorways was people driving without preparation for bad weather, he said, explaining that cars without winter tires compounded the problem, which was exacerbated when trucks skidded and blocked the road. He urged motorists not to remove winter tires and leave emergency lanes open. Over the weekend, heavy snow moved westward from the interior south and east of Anatolia, and traffic chaos gripped large cities. In Istanbul, three people were killed in a bus crash due to heavy snow, and 18 others were injured when the bus crashed into a ditch after the driver lost control due to snow and ice on the road. The passage through the Bosphorus was temporarily closed due to snowstorms and precipitation, which worsened visibility. Extensive snowfall in the southeastern regions has led to the closure of roads to villages and remote settlements. Snowfall is expected to continue in Istanbul until the middle of the week. The city's governorate announced that e-scooters have been banned from traffic, while motorcycle couriers, who play a critical role in delivering food and essentials in bad weather, have also been banned from traffic. Universities were also closed. 